हॅलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चिन्मय देशपांडे इन दिस व्हिडिओ लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू न्यूमरिकल इंटिग्रेशन इन दॅट डबल इंटिग्रल युजिंग सिमसन वन थर्ड रूल वॉट इज द फॉर्म्युला अँड थिअरी असोसिएटेड विथ इट नाव लेट अस कन्सिडर अ फंक्शन दॅट इज आय इक्वल टू लेट से इंटिग्रेशन लेट मी राईट इट ॲज हिअर एक्स झिरो टू एक्स एन हिअर अँड वाय झिरो टू वाय एन हिअर एफ ऑफ एक्स कॉमा वाय डी एक्स डी वाय विच इज टू बी सॉल्व नाव लेट अस से द स्पेसिंग बिटवीन स्पेसिंग बिटवीन एक्स इट इज डिनोटेड बाय एच एंड द स्पेसिंग बिटवीन वाय लेट मी राईट इट ॲट स्पेसिंग बिटवीन वाय इट इज डिनोटेड बाय के सो इन द प्रॉब्लम वॅल्यूज ऑफ एच अँड के विल बी गिवन नाव बेस्ड ऑन अ गिवन फंक्शन वी हॅव टू प्रिपेअर अ टेबल लेट से सपोज द टेबल विल बी लाईक दिस इफ वी हॅव द व्हॅल्यूज लेट मी राईट इट ॲट हिअर इट विल बी एक्स झिरो ओके सो आय विल राईट इट हिअर टेबल दिस इज युअर एक्स झिरो नेक्स्ट विल बी एक्स वन विच इज इक्वल टू एक्स झिरो प्लस एच एच इज द स्पेसिंग बिटवीन एक्स नेक्स्ट वॅल्यू विल बी एक्स टू विच इज इक्वल टू एक्स वन प्लस एच नाव लेट मी राईट इट हिअर व्हॅल्यूज ऑफ वाय ऑल्सो सो हाऊ टू डू इट आय विल राईट इट लाईक दिस दिज आर एक्स व्हॅल्यूज दिज आर वाय व्हॅल्यूज सो फर्स्ट व्हॅल्यू बट ऑबियस विल बी अ वाय झिरो नेक्स्ट व्हॅल्यू इज y1 will be equal to y0 plus the k because here if you see in the y spacing is denoted by k and y2 will be equal to y1 plus k likewise now that depends upon this table will depends upon your integrals value and h and k here if you see x0 and xn is the lower and the upper limit of a x y0 yn will be lower and upper limit of a y now let whatever function we will have in that function while calculating this value in that function we have to substitute x equal to x0 y equal to y0 here you have to substitute x equal to x0 and y equal to y1 because this is y1 value here f of x equal to x0 y equal to y2 similarly here this value will be calculated by substituting x equal to x1 y equal to y0 here we we will be able to find it out value of a function by putting x equal to x2 y equal to y0 here also we will get f of x equal to x1 y equal to y1 here x equal to x2 y equal to y1 this value will be calculated by putting x equal to x1 y equal to y2 this value will be calculated as x equal to x2 and y equal to y2 you know how to find it out this this will be a intersection point here so therefore x equal to x0 y equal to y0 likewise we have to calculate now let me take other color pen so that uh, i will give you a trick how to remember this formula so whatever answer we will get all the corner elements keep it within a box so this will be in a box f of x0 y0 f of x2 y0 after that f of x0 y2 and f of x2 x2 y2 then these elements you should indicate it with the help of arrow now you will ask me sir why we are doing it like this it will be easy for you to remember this formula and exactly middle term which is there it should be denoted by this let's say it will be uh, rhombus okay or it will be this shape so how to write a formula of simpson's one third so i can write it as i will be equal to how to write it h k upon 9 first will be sum of terms within box now what are the sum of the terms within box f of x0 y0 f of x2 y0 f of x0 y2 and f of x2 y2 plus 4 into sum of terms 
let me write sum of terms indicated sum of terms indicated by arrow and last will be 16 into middle term from a table so i will write it as middle term from table so you can write a formula in this way also or otherwise if you want to write it in a uh, you can say functions way f of x, x comma y like that so you can write it like this sum of the terms within box what will be there f of x0 y0 f of x2 y0 so let me write it as f of x0 y0 plus f of x2 y0 plus this term x0 y2 and x2 y2 f of x0 y2 plus f of x2 comma y2 so this will be the first sum of the terms within box plus 4 into bracket if you see indicated by arrow x1 y0 x0 y1 x2 y1 x0 y2 so let me write it as it will be equal to what here if you see it will be equal to f of x1 y0 so let me write it as f of x1 comma y0 uh, after that f of x0 y1 f of x0 comma y1 plus f of x1 y2 and x2 y1 f of x1 y2 and f of if you see this will be term f of x2 y1 and plus 16 into bracket middle term so let me write it as 16 into bracket what will be the middle term here middle term is f of x1 comma y1 so let me write it as f of x1 comma y1 so this will be the formula which is used for solution of double integrals using simpson's one thank you for watching this video